That's the best I can do. That's really cool. So, as far as how this guitar sounds to me, uh, purely acoustically, it's great. Um, and then whenever you turn on all this crazy, confounded uh, uh, electronics here on the top, it uh, is amazing. Uh, honestly, like, the sound quality of this is crazy good. Um, also, the... Uh, the tapping of this works really, really well. Um, I, it takes some adjusting to, uh, cause you kind of have to hit it like right directly on that downbeat as you come into the next, uh, phase of whatever it is you're looping. And it is like, I'm noticing, I usually play back here with a pick, uh, at the edge of the sound hole. But as I'm creeping towards needing to make that loop, I start getting a little bit closer up here just so I can make that quick, that quick tap here. So that takes a little bit of an adjustment. Um, uh, but uh, the sound quality, uh, the possibilities are amazing on this. Uh, I think this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I think it's awesome. So yes, 
uh, I, I love it. It sounds awesome to me. If you turn everything off, it still sounds like a great... Like a good sounding mahogany guitar. When you go and you add the reverb and the delay in, it makes it really fun. Makes it where it can uh, do some fun stuff. But it all sounds great. I mean, no matter how, whatever way you s do your settings here, everything is, is sounds clean, clear, um, the way it would through a standard pickup. All right, the sound of this guitar, um, it definitely has that Yamaha sound, which is great. Um, it's almost a little mid-scooped, but would be great for a nice rhythm guitar, I feel like. It's that classic Yamaha sound. Very balanced. Yeah. I think it sounds great. It's balanced. Um, definitely the Sitka I like because it brings out some more mid-range in it. Um, it. Keeps it from being so sharp. So I really do like the combination of the mahogany and Sitka. Um, I'm in that mahogany realm right now, so it speaks to me for sure. There's not much that I would change really on this guitar because it looks exactly like I would want something like this to look. I mean, it's got a really cool kind of uh, sunburst, uh, really cool rosette with this cool blueness right here. I like that. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to say. I mean, this is like the coolest thing ever if someone wants something to loop, uh, but also just have like a good sounding guitar. You can turn all this stuff off and... <laughs> Sounds great. I mean, this is... Uh, this is the coolest thing ever. I think it's awesome. The only thing that I dislike about it, it has a cutaway. Um, that is the only, that I, I'm more of a traditional dreadnought shape kind of guy. However, this that would not necessarily prevent me from buying this guitar. I really want one of these. If I could change one thing about the guitar, which I'm not sure, it, I can see why it is, the, the weight is what it is, but I'd probably try to make it just a hair lighter because it does feel a little hefty. but. Other than that, I mean, the neck shape feels great. The action's nice. Um, the string gauge they went with is really nice. Uh, the, the placement of the, the loop button is really cool as well. Um, so yeah, just maybe go for a little bit lighter of a build. I think the only thing I would change about this guitar would be the clear pick guard. Um, in essence, I would probably just go without a pick guard and just allow that top to be beautiful. Yeah, it might get scratched up, but Hey, it's a guitar. Um, but yeah, if I was to put a, uh, I mean, the rosette's so nice on there. I see why they did that. But ultimately, it's such a, a minor thing. Um, the guitar itself is beautiful. It plays well. I love the open um, Butterbean style tuners. Um, so it's real classy, and they, I like their appointments. Again, they just, it wasn't all just about making something that has all these bells and whistles with technology. The guitar itself is a great platform that I think any player would enjoy. Uh, Playability-wise, uh, I mean, this feels a lot like those FG9s, uh, FS9s, uh, and amongst other Yamahas. I mean, it's a very uh, common neck shape and feel. Uh, very default-sized in depth. I wouldn't say it's too thick or too thin or, uh, you know, anything like that. It's just very comfortable, I think, for most players' hands. Um, and, uh, yeah, I would say that this is a... It, it's a boutique level feeling guitar too to play. Uh, sounds up. I mean, everything about this is sweet. Uh, I want one really bad, so I'm gonna get one. Yeah. So uh, first of all, everything is put together extremely well. It's Yamaha. They do a great job over there putting, uh, doing their fit and finishes on the instruments. Um, playability wise, it's fantastic. Very comfortable setup. Really nice. Action is really low and, and easy to play. Um, when it comes to the looping system. It does take a little bit to learn, but overall it is very simple to use. Um, you just have a few buttons back here, you press and adjust, and everything uh, kind of works on its own and works together, and you can figure out how to make a loop within the first three or four minutes of sitting down with it. Uh, playability of this guitar is great. Uh, the action's nice and low. Um, it looks like they went for a low and then beefed up the screen, string gauge, which gets you a nice low bit of volume there. The neck shape is a nice uh, even C. I don't feel like so very modern, nice profile, a little bit on the slimmer side, but um, it feels great all the way up the neck. There's no hot spots or or uh, any spot where it feels odd to me. 
but overall it's just, they nailed it on the setup for me. These guitars are amazingly playable. I mean, to tell you the truth, people are always talking about like even what kind of guitars to start on. And this would be a great guitar for somebody who's maybe looking at that first acoustic of their own or something like that. They play a little bit, or even if they don't play at all, it's just so comfortable. But the cool thing is with the electronics, um, it's super easy to navigate. And especially for uh, younger kids, man, it would keep them playing for hours. Just being able to deal with the different delays and choruses and getting different sounds and then adding the looping into it. It just opens up a world of possibilities. So not only as a player do I see this being good for a practice, guitar for a gigging guitar but if you have a beginner if you have somebody who's just kind of starting out or if they're kind of in that beginner level and they're just getting into the guitar this would do so much for them and really open up the world to them when it comes to playing acoustic instruments yeah so looking at the function of this guitar and how it would be used i mean the first and foremost well the the first thing i would say would be uh that this is a ultimate ultimate practice tool for, for a musician. If you're looking for something that will, that you can practice to, you know, um, a lot of times I find myself going to YouTube and finding backing tracks of things and trying to learn how to create solos based off that. But with this, you can kind of create your own backing track, play to it, uh, create. Uh, so this is like the ultimate creator's tool for the practice um, part of it. And then also, if you look at the, like the, uh, the application of using this out, uh, you know, out and about playing, I mean, you can be your own band essentially and, uh, create backing tracks. Um, I think that there's like an, an infinite amount of way, like number of loops you can create here. Uh, there's probably some sort of a cap, but I don't know what it is. And there's also going to be an app uh, released for this as well, which really is going to, I think, open up more possibilities and stuff. I, I don't think we have access to the app just yet, but uh, this is like really impressive uh, and it's a ton of fun. Yeah. For me, I would uh, likely use this car guitar a lot to practice with. Um, being able to play over my own backing track would be a really cool thing to experience and, and work with and try to figure out new ways to, to make solos and improvise. Um, this guitar, for I think, would be really suited for kind of a one-man band type of deal. If if you're a uh, you're an artist where you're you're performing a lot of solo shows and you need some other some you need a way to play backup for yourself, this is the way to do it. So uh, I think this guitar would really enhance a solo artist, someone who's doing those loops, maybe in a hotel lobby, coffee shop, something like that, where you're building those loops. Also, I could see it as a great just plugged-in rhythm guitar if you're a if you're a frontman in a church group or a a bar band or a wedding band, anything like that. This would be a great um, acoustic electric to use just as a front strummer or, or even put some of the effects through there and, and be a lead guitar player in a band like that. This guitar sounds more modern to me, um, so I do see like that kind of application for it. I mean, it's a very forward-thinking guitar from the beginning uh, with the technology and then, uh, of course, the profile and everything. So I could see uh, playing this either doing a solo act where you need to have that extra technology just to kind of fill in with the loops or whatnot. Um, but yeah, also really any application. Uh, if you wanted to just play it straight acoustic, it'd be great for that. Um, but yeah, any player of any level, I think, would be able to use this either live performance. Practicing would be killer when you're sitting at home by yourself and you want to be able to have a backing track. It's all built in there for you. You just take it off the stand and go. So does this guitar work for me? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's got everything I would want to sit at home and play with. Uh, I mean, I could spend multiple, multiple hours at home, probably hundreds of hours, honestly, making creating. This is a creator's tool. Uh, I mean, this is a, this is a really awesome way it, I think to create your own ideas and, um, learn to play with yourself too. Uh, because whenever you hear something looped back to you, that is something that you just created and it's like an immediate response, you get that immediate response and you can be like, okay, was that good? Was that bad? Like, Okay, that was bad. All right, all right. And it kind of helps you get better um, at learning to play music with yourself, which is an odd thing to say, 
Um, but it, it kind of helped. It's helping me uh, learn what some of the mistakes I make that are frequent are. And when you get that immediate, uh, uh, that immediate response, it, it helps, I think. It's really cool. It's awesome. But yes, I want one. I think they're 1700 bucks. So uh, that is like the coolest thing ever to spend $1,700 on to me as a guitar player. Yes, this guitar works great for me. I want this guitar really bad. It is one of the coolest things I've ever gotten to play. This guitar definitely works for me. Um, I like the cutaway so you can get up there and do some solo stuff. Um, I would definitely put it in the collection just to have to practice or, and just mess around with different loops, come up with ideas, songs, things of that nature. And just overall, yeah, the practice because you get del delay, reverb, chorus. You can really create some really cool sounding tracks with this. And uh, the, the possibilities are endless. Personally, I think this guitar is going to end up at my house at some point. Uh, for me, I could just see uh, where it's just me and my family sitting around and, and just me and my guitar. I would love to be able to have the looping in there. Um, I could see myself just enjoying writing music with it, and you can kind of add uh, your melodies and all that to it. So I can see myself definitely purchasing this. At the price point, like I said, it's a lot of guitar. The guitar itself is, is worthy. Um, but add in those extra bells and whistles that you just don't get from your other instruments, um, and it's definitely got a place in, in, in my catalog.